Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to talk about. I'll wait to the very end, and then you'll know what, what I'm talking about. Uh, the other day, I was frying bacon, and I'm a southern girl. We had bacon at every, every breakfast, right? When I was frying this bacon, something weird happened to me it's like I could hear the, the pigs crying squealing you know when they were being uh, you know so and and the bacon smelled awful it was the most horrible smell I've ever smelled in my life now I don't have the kind of money to go out and get a steak nor would I want a steak I will eat hamburger and Mexican with no problem. So, um, <clears throat> I think gradually for the last three years, I have been leaning towards just getting rid of meat. I just can't stand the thought of a big hunk of meat with blood running across the the plate and um, now I used to go skiing with this couple and his wife was a vegan and she would make a big freaking deal about that that she was a vegan well, if you're a vegan you don't have to go around telling everybody <clears throat> uh, and she would like disrupt every meal bringing up the point that she's vegan and she wants to be treated special. I mean, she just didn't casually mention it to the to the waiter. It would go on for like 20 minutes. And I kept thinking these vegan people, something's wrong with them. What They want all this special attention. And it irritated me a lot. But guess what? I've become a vegan. <laughs> I mean, I will... I just... Um, I don't know too much about being a vegan, but uh, meat is very, uh, I just don't want it. I actually, like, if I get a steak and cheese sub, the smell of the meat now on the bun just nauseates me. Has anybody out there gone through the same thing? Here I am, almost 65, and, and I'm thinking... I don't know, but I was raised up on a lot of vegetables because my parents always had a garden and I always had to work in it. Uh, yeah, we always had tons of vegetables. Here's a car that wants to kiss my ass. Every time I turn here, there's always an issue if you've been watching me. There's always an issue. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the only traffic jam we have in my town is just like that. I will not live, I will not even go anywhere where there's traffic. I think too many people have wasted their lives sitting in traffic uh, or even a long commute. I mean, I, my first job when I was a deputy, I had to drive 45 minutes and I was young mother. My kids were in diapers, uh, but I would never, ever do that again. Okay. We got a Dominion Energy truck here. All right, everyone. Bye.